welcome to Cup of Tea and a Yarn. Um, my name is Jill and this is my place on YouTube where I talk about knitting and crocheting and spinning and weaving and whatever I'm up to at the moment. Um, yeah, exciting day today. We're going to start our Kiwi Summer Cake Out. If you want to join in, that'd be brilliant. Um, I have a couple of things that I've finished and I've got a lot, I mean a lot, a big bag here full of my works in progress. Okay, um, I hope you're all well. Um, trying to avoid the news at the moment, that's kind of a bit depressing. It feels like the whole world would just blow up really easily. So it's kind of had to, um, had to turn the news off last week. I couldn't, um, my mental health and well-being couldn't actually um, cope with it very well, you know. So anyway, wherever you are, have you been safe? More mindful things to think about now, like knitting. I've got some finished stuff and I don't know why I'm not wearing it because I usually wear what I've finished, but um, anyway, I've sat down and I've tried to put this on top, look silly, I can't be bothered to change. Here I am. <laughs> This, and I have worn it. So this is the Birkendall Puff. Birkel, Birkel Undum. Birkel Undum Puff. It's a bit, a bit creased showing there. Um, so it is by, my book here, Inga Savingson. Um, the yarn I've used here is some Nana Cindy Pixie Dust I had left over, it's a merino, and some Goodwill New Zealand company Corridale in the colour Kale. So I liked, really liked the hem, hem, that's not the hem at all, is that? it's the neck. Okay, I really like the rolled neck here. I enjoyed that a lot. I love the, um, the leaves. Last week I wore this with an orange skirt and it was like I was an upside down flower. I had the leaves and the green stalk and then I had the orange on the bottom. <laughs> um, the puff, the Birkendall puff has got puff sleeves. So um, I like how they look. What I don't like is, and I don't know, I, mean, I thought I did exactly what I was supposed to do, but, and I've looked on the pictures and you can see other people's as well. But I don't like you can see all my stitches, all my increases and decreases and stuff. Mm. Also did the sleeves a little bit longer. Um, and also rather than, so I did most of it the same, but a couple of changes. So I did them a little bit longer just because um, the pattern I think is for a cotton. And I've talked about this before. This is a DK Cardale wool. It's not a summer top. So I kind of um denied about actually making full length sleeves and I'm, I might do that yet. I'll, I'll see how I go. Um, in the meantime, I stopped and just did an I called bind off. Just a three stitch I called bind off rather than a rolled because it, it asked for a rolled one. But because I didn't want the sleeves to go sm smaller, shorter, um, yeah, I did I called one. And I did a little bit of a decrease as well, just before I did that. Um, I did a couple of decreases on there. I also decreased for the body. I haven't taken any pictures of me wearing it, which I will try and pop it in my Ravelry thing. Um, I made it, I actually finished it, then I did the sleeves, and then I unpicked the the hem again and redid it so that it was a bit longer and um, so that it's longer than my other like it's kind of short still I mean it, it kind of fits on my hip bone which is nice it's not super cropped but it's um yeah I think if I had long sleeves it would make a really nice jersey so maybe I'll do that I have a little bit of the stuff left. I'm unsure if I could make really long sleeves. I could do three quarters perhaps. 
and that could be another reason I'm not wearing it because I'm really as much as I love it it's not really wearable for me at the moment of course we're coming into summer so even though I wore it the other day it was quite warm <laughs> um the Corridale is quite soft so I did like I said I wore it against my skin I didn't wear it um on top of anything so yeah and didn't itch or anything like that so it was quite good hmm. all in all I'm pretty happy with it um as I say though I think that it's a winter top it's not a summer top the way I've knit it I do like the little sleeves yes I'm gonna crackle Anyway, my other finished object is my socks. So these are, oh, whoops, amazing, um, Toe Up Two at a Time Wave Socks by Laura Magez. And it's a Motivera Perfect Pair. It's supposed to be a gradient. It seemed to go really kind of an enormous change from there to there. Hmm. I was starting to like the colour as it got up here. I probably should have started from the outside in, I think. Um, these are a bit, they're a little lilac-y for me. Um, it was a very cute little pattern though at the side, which um, was very easy to do. It was just like a, um, I think it was a four or repeat. Oh no, that's my other ones I'm doing at the moment. I can't remember now. Um, anyway, it was easy and it's only on one side, so it's on the outside of the of the foot, so it's not on the inside. I did my flegal heel, so I did a Turkish toe, which is my favourite toe, and I did my flegal heel, which is my favourite heel. Um, yeah, apart from apart from it's a colour that I don't wear, um, I I like them. I thought they were quite good. Um, they'll probably go into my um, present pile which is quite low at the moment it's only got one thing in it so it's pretty good I need some extra things in it seem so I seem to go oh there's a pair of socks and I put them away and then straight away there's someone to give them to there we go so those are my finished objects um I have a lot of whips which are I believe I can use for our cacao so it's the 1st of November today, exciting. Um, I did post some stuff on Facebook and in my blog last week about um, if anyone fancies, I'm going to do a Kiwi Summer um, KCAL, so knit and crochet along. Um, very few rules, a Kiwi theme, so a New Zealand designer or a New Zealand indie dyer, or both if you want to. So either or, or both. Um, what else? We start today, finish at the last day of February. So 1st of March is the end of summer. Um, so it was um, autumn, beginning of autumn. Um, even though, and even though today is not the start of summer, it just is like it's getting warmer. So kind of think, well, it's nice to have four months to do something rather than three. Um, if you, I think the other thing I, thought would do is if you've got something that has been kind of wallowing that you've been procrastinating about that's been sitting there for a while and fits either of those two yeah that's great as well um, I'm working on some prizes to kind of give away as we go or at the end um, I don't know that's a that's a work in progress as I say it's not a I don't have a um, I'm not very um, I'm not a stickler for kind of detail, so I'll go with the flow. I think those two things are fine. But one, two, three, actually three things really, isn't it? Um, finish it by the end of February. New Zealand designer or New Zealand indie dyer. I'm going to show you everything that I have that I think can fit into it. I've got one thing that won't as well, which we can talk about later. Right, I say big bag. Um, I finished my socks on Thursday and I had a big two hours of meetings on Friday and I didn't want to be sockless in my meetings. 
So I started my um, Kiwi Summer Cake Cal a day early, or actually two days early. This is, I've chosen to do, right, all right, before that, whoop, rewind. I spent a lot of time on Ravelry under Kiwi Designers, um, so looking for a designer um, country in New Zealand, um, and favouriting a whole heap of stuff I had not favourited before. A lot of socks, a um, couple of garments, um, some hats, which I'll talk about too. That's another story. Um, but there were some beautiful things. And I, then I realised I actually had some things favourited that were New Zealand designers and I didn't even know. Anyway, this was one of the ones I'd favourited. Um, is a paper pattern on Ravelry. It, it's called Sassy Socks by, um, I'm sorry, if I get the name wrong, Wei, W-E-I, S. Leon. So Wei S. Leon, she has got tons of fabulous socks. Really, really nice. So these are Sassy Socks and I'm doing them in um, man-made fibre everyday sock and it is called, the colour is Limelight. Um, I'm going totally out of my comfort zone again with these. They're a top down with an eye of partridge heel, which who knows, I'm trusting, trusting the designer fully. And I guess at the end, I'm going to have to do that kitchen ring thing for the toes. So that's quite exciting. Um, the front of the sock, so can you see that, has got two mock cables and then it's got these cute little like diamond eyelets. That's just, um, yeah, I can't really show you. Yeah, so it's got like those two, one, two, one, two, one, like that. Um, I love this yarn. I couldn't stop knitting it. I just wanted to carry on, carry on, carry on. Um, the pattern's lovely. The, it's interesting. It's um, because of the, it's, it's interesting and, and easy at the same time. So even though it's got, let's see what I'm doing here. So even though it's got like um, texture with the mock cables, mock cables are easy. It's got a little diamond pattern and I've got my, um, my graph thing. And so that's easy. It's just, it has been a pleasure to knit so far. Um, this is probably as long as they're going to get for a while though, because I've got something else in the plans for my meeting knitting. So that's my first whip for the cake cow. Other ones um, I've seen before, they've been around for ages, because they've been around for ages. This is my Clara Jane. So Clara Jane Cardi is um, just a little Cardi with some um, slip stitch motify kind of mosaic knitting around the bottom and around the cuffs. This is how far I had got. So, you know, I've to slip for the arm holes and I'm about that far in down the body. Um, at the same time, I'd been making the other cardigan and then I kind of freaked out that it was going to be a mess. So I stopped. Then I didn't know what colour I wanted to do the mosaic with. Um, this is a pattern by Hanging Rock Roost, so it's a New Zealand designer, paid for pattern. Um, the yarn I'm using is Prosper Yarn Nuki, Nuki. so it's a 100% Romney um, lamb's wool, 3 to 4 ply. It's lovely, love the colour. Um, I wasn't sure on what colour my mosaic -y bit was going to be, and I'm going to use, I've decided, my whole scan. So this is just a super soft 
and the colour is called Gold Crest. I think it's going to look fabulous. So it's going to be green and gold. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. So that was good. So I've made a decision there, which I hadn't made before. I had lots of different skeins shoved into the bag, into my little Cosper yarn bag. Um, and I hadn't really felt the love, but I kind of feel like these are the right ones to do it with. So that's a work in progress for the cacao too. In here, I've got in here I've got my and my kitty square cushion, which I talked about last time, and I was umming and ahhing whether or not I wanted to redo my background background squares in DK rather than four ply. I've done quite a lot of them though. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I've done six. And I've done one, two, three, four cats. So, I mean, I have made some kind of progress, but um, I have this idea that it'll be quite, um, you know, the squares with the uh, with the pinks and the greys be quite um, classy rather than bright and then the cats would be the bright things so the cats were the bright things in that I have done them in you know like some rainbow and bright pink and some glow in the dark <laughs> yeah I'll see it's in my head, as I say, wouldn't take much to finish. I just need to put my mind to it. Um, my other thing that's um, a work in pro progress that I have made some um, progress on over the last couple of weeks is my Page of Wands cowl. M cowl, it was. So Page of Wands cowl. And it was a mystery knit along, which is long since finished. So, um, because I couldn't decide on my colours. So this is how I've gone so far. So the Page of Wands um, cowl is based on a tarot card deck. And I love it. I love this. It is so, I just love how it looks. I can, even though it's, so the designer is a French designer, um, Petite Knits, I think. I haven't written that one down. Um, no, I didn't, sorry. Um, but the yarn I'm using, apart from the splash of pink, is all New Zealand yarn. So once again, I've got some Prosper um, Nuki, which is that um, lamb's wool, which I'm using as the, the contrast to purple um, because of the you know, whole thing, how we don't see purple thing. And the main color I'm using is some hand spun. And a hand spun is, oops, so it was a mixture of Die Happy yarn and Stitch Punk. So I I had a braid of each and then I applied them together. I probably have written down somewhere what they are. I believe they might be a Coradale nylon merino kind of big mixture i love these cards i love i just i just love how it's all knitted up it's like you can see the gradient kind of behind like you know, there's a different color here um in the like the greens and the pinks and yellows but with the purple on top i think it's going to be beautiful it's going to be such a nice cowl 
So those are all of the things that I want to finish <laughs> this summer. As well as some other things which I'll talk to you about now. Um, last time I talked to you about this is not in the cow because it's not got any enough kiwiness in it. It's got a little bit, but not. I don't think it's got enough. It's only got. It's going to have one little mini skein in it. Um, maybe two. Last time I was making what was I making? The Pride Kerchief by John Josh Reeks Rubinsky. Um, I got all creative with it. Um, so it was a like a thing that went like that. And I thought, right, it's not going to be big enough. So, and I don't know the numbers to, to know when to start decreasing. So to just keep going to decrease, because, you know, I just don't know that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, like a triangle there. So basically, basically it looked like that. I was going to try and make a bit there and then kind of carrying it on like that and to make a big try a bigger triangle it worked in theory it worked on paper when I did that oh it made such a mess my, I didn't have my decreases right even though I thought I was sorry, my increases for the triangle even though I was increasing I thought the same as I had I increased for that pointy bit and so it ended up being like a kind of shape like that which I couldn't do anything with <sighs> so I frogged it and then this was before I'd started thinking about all of my other things I'm doing and because I was I've been busting to use these this rainbow mini skein you know for the last year I, I've cast on something else I mean, I've got a little bit of red at the front. The red, little bit of red there is some of um, uh, man-made fibres. At some point, I'm going to have um, some of that pink that I had in my top that Belinda dyed, and I'm going to have some purple that I I keep thinking is from Kiwiana. So there'll be little speckles of it, but it's not enough to go. Hey, it's part of the Kiwi Summer Gecko. This is, so this is my Baltic Summer Rainbow. So Baltic Summer is a pattern on Ravelry by uh, Martina Bem, who is the hitchhiker lady. So she's the one that created the hitchhiker scarf, which was my first knitted scarf. Um, this one I've been trying to do. It's been in my... Um, my queue, it's been in, um, out of my queue, in my queue, out of my queue, cast on as a project probably about eight times. Um, my recent flirtation with um, chevrons has meant, and, and zigzags, has meant I actually understand it now. And I'm finding it really easy and it's quite meditative. Um, I started off with um, red and orange alternating. Then I dropped the red, picked up the yellow, and carried on with the orange. So then it was yellow and orange. Then I dropped the orange and picked up some green. So then it was green and yellow. <laughs> then I dropped the yellow and picked up kind of a turquoisey blue. Um, oh, that green there is also, that's a New Zealand one too. Marina, I can't remember who was a bit I had left. Um, then I dropped the green and I picked up this turquoisey blue and I've just dropped this limey green and picked up a brighter blue. So I think that this is gonna be a fun rainbow scarf. So there you go, it's um, Baltic summer. Yeah. The rainbow is probably not showing as much as I thought it might. Um, but kind of goes red, orange, green. 
I'm sitting out the yellow and I did some um, a bit of a bit of googling to make sure I know what comes after the blue so after the blue comes the purple and then at the end comes some pink which makes sense doesn't it the blue and the purple kind of mix them together so to do that I've got um, this I think is a bit of um, Zalba ball and it kind of goes a bit purpley in there um, I don't know if I've put any of the really dark stuff in I have to see but it's definitely got some purpley in hmm. which I thought I could use that before I go into my purple which is what again I think the one is from um, Kimiana and then I've got my two pinks so this one was from Blend Dye and then this was from the mini skein set so that's probably what I will end with growing really fast. Not as fast as the um, Pride Kajit did. That's such a cool thing. Um, maybe if I did it on bigger needles it probably would be better because it was kind of like I think you could block it out quite a lot. I still I think it wasn't what I'm after at the time. At the moment I'm after something a bit thinner and a bit more drapier and not a bit like it's a bit longer. That was too short which is quite cool maybe in the winter you could kind of like clip it maybe somehow mm -hmm. now why all of those all of those things now on hold because um it's a safe place for me to tell you this because i don't think any of my friends in wellington watch what i talk about um every year um a group of friends get together in wellington for christmas and we have a like a christmas function yeah, it's lovely. We do Secret Center and we've been doing it for years and years and years. They have been on the receiving end of many of my Yarny presents. Um, some were kind of, I think they were kind of cool. Some of them were, were a bit cringy. Um, they're my friends and they love them anyway. <laughs> they say they did. <laughs> um, so for a long time it was crocheted things. So they've had crocheted toilet cover dolls. They've had um, crocheted um, cup warm, not cup warmers, but you know the ones that if you put them around your cup, it stops your hands from getting hot. Um, they've had brooches. They've had um, flannels. They've had mittens. Scarves and hats, and um, they've had market bags and crocheted. Last, I didn't see them last year, but the year before they had socks. Um, <laughs> bless them. They had lots of my, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet, socks. So some of them were a bit, mm, but they're wearable, and you know, they keep your feet warm. So <laughs> Um, yesterday I had a message with the date so um, the date is in four weeks and I thought oh my gosh I haven't got anything I've been thinking about them for ages and thinking what was I going to do I was going to weave them all scarves and you know I still might for a winter present um, then I was going to do them all mittens like knitted colour work mittens and and then I was going to do the more cowls, um, but I kind of started and stopped and started and stopped and actually didn't follow through on anything. So with four weeks to go, I kind of think, well, what can I make? So I kind of have to make seven things. So I'm going to do hats. I'm going to do hats using my hand spun. So this is some of my hand spun here. Um, you can see there's a big gap now here where I've taken a lot of my hands spun out to make into balls and um, I'm going to use Kiwi designers for my hats and I'm picking non-cable ones because I'd have to think too much and it would take too long 
So if I've got seven, I'm aiming for two a week. And I think that's kind of doable. I just started my first one this morning um, after getting lost again on Ravelry, thinking, what will I make? What will I make? What will I make? So my first one I'm making is, what have I called it? It's called um, the Bright Sparks Hat. That's by Emiki Hia. Emiki Hia Knits. Ami. Amiki Hia Knits. She has quite a lot of hats, some really cool ones. And I'd already favorited a couple. I hadn't favorited this one before. This one's a freebie one. Um, I think I'm gonna do some free, some paid. So I paid for my sock pattern and this one's, and then my hat pattern's a freebie one. If I knuckle down, I might get it nearly finished by tomorrow. So today, I say it's the 1st of November, it's Sunday, it's about lunchtime. Mm, it's been quite a few hours of knitting time once I've, once this is doing its thing on the computer. Um, yeah. I'll try and do a mixture um, so then people can choose, which is what I did with the socks, although with the socks it was more like, see which ones you think will fit your foot. <laughs> Um, if I make, this one has got a short rib to start with, but I'm going to make it a little bit longer. So hopefully that will make it a bit more available to bigger heads or smaller heads, you know, a bit more fluid, <laughs> adaptable, adaptable is a good word <laughs> for head size. Um, I am using some Leica needles that I got. From, I think um, little red yarn when she was having a sale or it may have been Kiwiana when she was having a sale one of those um, so I've got two sizes of these ones so I'm going to try and um, I'm going to try and regardless of what the design is telling me I'm going to try and knit them all on these two so this one's 3.25, the other one's 3.75. So I'm going to do the number up on 325s, increase 375. I think that will also help because and this one, this yarn that I've made here is quite, I must still um, never hope applied it because it's nice and round and quite, it's quite, um, you can see, apart from obviously that big blob at the top there, which is which is my end. Um, apart from that, I think it's kind of um, consistent. Feels quite consistent, whereas a lot of my others aren't. I figure if I do that, then it's a little bit. The needles are a little bit smaller than I called for, and I'm a a baggy knitter, a loose knitter, should I say? Um, so I think I should be able to get away with that. Ends come out there. Oops. So that's why I won't be working on any of all of those things, any of all of those things until I've done this. Um, if I find I can't do two this week, I'll just give up because there's no point really. I don't want to put myself under pressure and not enjoy it. And this time they'll just, I don't know. I was going to make the little, these things into little brooches, maybe, you know, these little things that I made. Um, but they're not all ladies. Um, I'm not saying that men don't like brooches, but I don't think Sean would. So, mm. there we go. Those are all of my works in progresses and everything I'm up to. And I've talked a lot about the cake cow as well. Um, I haven't bought anything, but I do have, well, I haven't bought anything recently, but some things are coming to me that I bought quite a while ago. Um, I splashed out and bought myself, um, what did I buy? The Shetland Wool Week Annual. 
um, I remember um, in my net group in Auckland last year, um, a couple of the ladies have got it and it was so beautiful. I thought, oh, why not? You know, I'm not really going anywhere or doing anything. And I hadn't spent a lot of money on yarn lately, so I ordered that, I think it was last month when it came into um, option for ordering. So I ordered that and I just got an email to say it's on its way, along with the this year's um, pattern hat pattern and so I've got a paper copy. Um, another thing that um, is happening hopefully November-ish is I bought myself a Kiwi Christmas advent calendar. So that was a collaboration between, just make sure I get everybody, um, Nana Cindy for Dying Out Loud and Goodwill New Zealand. So an advent calendar. I always look at people who get advent calendars and go wow. So that was quite a big investment, and I that was, um, I think, I ordered that in August, perhaps. So it seems like a long, long time ago. So that's exciting. So I'm looking forward to receiving that. Um, and that's my purchases. So none, really. I have spent some time at the library lately. And as well as all of this stuff, I've kind of fallen in love with a few other things that I really, really want to make. And I'm kind of thinking I might want to buy this book. And it's um, Knit Like a Latvian. It's, um, it's basically um, mittens. And the kind of beautiful mittens. I really like them. I want to make them all. Maybe not that one. But what about that one? Doesn't it like red roses on it? It's so pretty. Oh, pinkies. Oh, now look at this one. I think Rufus's. There's also like, you know, more kind of traditionally um, motif ones, such as, look at that one, orange sun, that's so cool. Anyway, as I say, I want to make all of these. It's just so, it's so nice. I'd like to make these for my friends for next year. So maybe that's my, this, these are my favorite ones. This might have to be my after, um, after February kind of knits. Love those. Another things I found is, I picked up this one at the library too. So the ultimate Ar 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 Arne and Carlos collection. I've marked some pages. Look at this cutie. <laughs> My friend's having a baby. And I was like, oh, that's so gorgeous. Look at them. Um, I can't include this in the Kiwi um, summer KCAL because because of the sock yarn it uses to make it look like that. I mean, it's all like regia kind of stuff. Regia? Regia? I hope you don't say that right. But aren't they beautiful? And then I was like, I love these two. If she has a girl, I'll be making lots. Are you very um, sure in what the sexes want today? It's probably not right. Um, anyway, I really like them. What else I like about them is they do clothes. Look. So not only do you make dolls, you can make all the clothes as well. They are so fun. I think the book's been put together wrong because that, like way at the very back it's got the thing about the doll's clothing and then afterwards there's nothing about the doll's clothing. 
or apart from that one dress, which is very pretty. I've got the doll's clothing and then it goes into Christmas and dog sweaters. So. I do think I've put, the, put together a bit cockeyed really. Um, yeah, but I really would like to make that teddy bear. He's so cute. I did think about uh, making my friends little Christmas balls as well, but not all of them have Christmas trees. And I've already made them Christmas decorations. So that's that. I better shut up. I feel like I've been talking for ages today. I had so much to show you, even though most of it you already knew about, but it's like, well, this is all of what I have to do. I don't have to. These are all of the things that I could choose to do for the new summer cake now. Or I could just do something new, like my hats. Starting with the hats anyway. And even though it's summer, I'm sure that that doesn't matter. So I'm there, <laughs> they're getting there, they're getting some nice woolly, um, probably mostly merino hats for the start of summer. Good timing, eh? <laughs> Um, we went for a bush walk last week, so I popped some photos. I think that's uh, probably how I'll start today. I probably should have said that at the beginning. So, okay, we went for a bush walk. Um, it was very cool. Um, spring, lots of kodu, um, fir you know, the ferns with the kodu, um, new leaves. So I took quite a lot of photos of that. Um, we saw lots of keraru as well, which are the wood pigeons. And heard, I heard a lot of tuis too. It was very beautiful. And very grounding. Yeah, it's always nice to get out into the bush. Okay, um, I'm going. <laughs> um, I hope you all have a very good week or two. If you start making things that you want to put into the Kiwi Summer Cake Hell, it's, that's the hashtag, Kiwi Summer Cake Hell. Um, do the Instagram thing. If you think it needs to be anywhere else, let me know. Uh, I didn't really want to get into, as I say, too much of the um, detail of you know you have to do this you have to do this you have to do this um, but yeah if you find it's not easy to share what you're making let me know we'll think about something else in some other places um, otherwise um, I shall say goodbye for now and um, uh, take care and be safe Kakite.